Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need. And today we are going to be modeling a wine glass and blender. Uh, the two point, I think this is 5.8 um, user interface and stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and model a wine glass. We're going to start by uh, telling you a little bit about Blender if you don't know. It's freeware, so you can download it at blender3d.org. Um, and download it completely free, so that's nice. Uh, it comes out. It comes with uh, all the tools that you really need, including a sculpting tool, which is right here, uh, to model. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, for you guys that don't know anything about 3D, um, I'll go ahead and start off with some basics here. Uh, you use your mouse basically the whole time, mouse and keyboard for hotkeys. Hotkeys are things that will um, They'll allow you to do things a lot quicker than uh, just going and selecting them wherever you're at. So there's hotkeys, mouse all the time. Uh, you use the middle mouse button to scroll in. All right, if you hold it down, you can rotate the viewport, which is this window right here. Um, in this case, we right click in order to select objects. And you can hit spacebar to search for different things that you're looking for. And they also have the hotkeys on the side here, as you can see. Okay. Uh, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and delete out the box just by hitting the delete key. All right, we're going to click Control Alt and Q at the same time. That's going to quad out our viewports. And now we'll have uh, four viewports to do our work in. This viewport's really just going to be for uh, rendering, which is what this camera is for. And then the rest of these viewports are just going to kind of uh, be there to help us model. Alright, um, the way we're going to start this is by adding a cylinder to our scene. Now there are two ways I'm going to show you to do this. One by is by clicking Add Mesh Cylinder. Alright, and then you select it and it will add. Or you can just hit Space and type in CY Add Cylinder. It's really nice and quick. Um, then we're going to come over to the left side here at this panel and we're going to double click where under, right underneath where it says vertices in this little uh, ellipse here and we're going to type in 8 and that's going to put, bring down the uh, faces and vertices and mounts and all that. Alright, now we're going to bring down the uh, depth, make it to about, because we don't want the base to be too thick. So there we go. This is what we've got um, for our uh, model so far for our cylinder. Um, just a quick heads up here. If you come up here, you'll notice that V it stands for vertices. And this is the total scene. So there are 18 vertices of the scene, 24 faces, and three objects, and one lamp. And a lamp is this. All right. Nice. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and click the tab key, or come down here and select edit mode. And now we can start actually making the uh, white glass. Now there are a few things here. Uh, as you can see over here we have our mesh tools, so if we want to translate, rotate, scale, all this stuff, um, which I'll probably end up using all these tools uh, sometime or another. Um, you can do it all on the left side of this panel here, or you can use hotkeys, which is what I'm going to do. And control tab, select face, all right, and um, then like E will do the extrude. Um, again, if you don't know what all this means, I'm about to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, control tab and then hit face. Once you do that, you want to select all of these faces in the uh, cylinder. Now you'll notice that if you just right click, it won't allow you to select all the faces at the same time. So you're going to want to hold down shift and keep holding it and then right click and select all of these faces. Next thing you want to do is hit E, right? And it already extrudes on the Z axis um, for you so that way you don't have to do anything else. And you can move your mouse all the way around. It's still going to go up or down on the Z axis. Right, so we're going to bring it up about that high. We're going to hit the S key, and that's going to scale it in for us. And we're going to scale it in until it's a little bit smaller, about there. 
Alright, this is for the uh, stem of the wine glass. Alright, so now we can hit E again, extrude up, and that's going to be our stem. Pull it down a tiny bit. Alright, now we can extrude to the, hit the S key again, scale. Alright, and usually wine glasses, um, I guess the, we'll call it the head of a wine glass, is usually just smaller than the, um, base. Okay, really quick, I'm going to hit off tab, I'm going to scale, because I don't want to have to resize this uh, all the time. So I'm just going to move it around to this viewport, the perspective viewport, and move it to where I wanted these viewports. And uh, by the way, to do this in each of these quad viewports, you're going to hold shift, you're going to middle mouse button, you're going to hold it down and move. So now we're just going to uh, continue where we left off, extrude straight up, and last we're going to extrude and then scale in. Alright, now we're going to hit E, we're not going to touch it, we're just going to left mouse, qu mouse cl click, and then we're going to scale it in. To, um, I guess about here would probably be okay. Let's go ahead and check in this viewport. A little more. So about here. All right. Now what we're gonna do is hit the Z key. That's gonna give us a wireframe. You can also come down here and select wireframe. And we're going to hit E, which is extrude. And we're gonna line up this edge with this edge right here. So these two you want to have lined up. Alright, so let's go ahead and line that up. We're going to scale it again, but we're going to leave about this much space. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. About that much space in between the uh, outer and the inner part of the wine glass. So, okay. And last extrusion. So we'll come down like this. Alright, now another thing you can do is you can come up here and hit scale. Alright, well that'll do the same thing as clicking S. Or you can come over here and use the scale manipulator, which allows you to scale differently on the sides. Alright, so now we're going to hit Z and hit tab. Alright, and that's going to give us out here. And this is our modeled wine glass. So it's completely modeled here. and. Uh, I'm going to hit control, hit zero, and that's going to bring this into a camera view. So this is our uh, complete model of the wine glass. All right. uh, next thing we want to do is we want to subdivide it. And what that will do is it will create a whole bunch of uh, extra polygons and edges and vertices uh, in order to make it smoother. The way we're going to do this is we're going to come over into this right panel, hit the little wrench, which is modifiers tab. We're going to click Add Modifier, and then we're going to come down to Subdivision Surface. Select it, and now you're going to see that your wine glass has a lot more polygons. Uh, now, a few things in here. You can disable the view um, in the viewport by hitting the little eye. You can make it unrenderable, so that way uh, it'll just show up as the wine glass without any uh, extras to it. And then in Edit Mode, if we go into Edit Mode, you'll notice that's still... Uh, got the subdivisions on it, you can take that off by hitting the little box. I'm going to leave it on. And subdivisions, for the render we have two subdivisions, but the viewports we only have one. What that means is when we actually render the image out, uh, it's going to look like this instead of looking like this. All right, This is primarily used to save space um, when you're actually modeling and setting up your scene and everything, because you can go zero, it won't affect you at all. Uh, the render will still be outputted the same. Okay, we're just gonna leave it at uh, one subdivision, and I don't really like the look of the stem here, so I'm gonna hit Tab and go to Edges, and I'm gonna hit Control Alt. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna select an edge ring. All right, we're going to hit W, subdivide, all right, and now we're going to hit Alt, right-click, and what that's going to do is that is going to uh, create or 
Give us our edge loop. Now what I want to do is I want to take it, hit G, and then hit the Z key. And what that'll do is that'll uh, allow me to move it up on the axis without using the manipulator, which is right here. All right. So I want to move it up towards the top, but not quite there. We're going to do that same thing again and move it down. I apologize for my phone if you guys can hear it. All right, and move that down. There we go. And the last two things we're going to do here is we're going to select another edge ring right here, subdivide, grab the uh, edge loop, pull it down, look like that. And then we're going to come underneath. All right, so let's hit underneath. Control Q again will give you the one perspective. And then middle mouse button rotates. All right, we're going to get grab phases. Let's grab all of these. We're going to hit E. We're going to scale it in. Or we hit G. With Z, we're going to move it just straight up. Just a tiny bit, though. All right. Control Q. And now you should have something that looks similar to this. Alright. Now the last thing we're going to do is come over to the left. You're going to see the shading. We're going to use smooth. That's going to smoothen all the edges. Whereas if we have flat, it's going to show it uh, polygonal. So smooth. And now we're going to come over to this camera here. Select image, and we're going to render it out. You'll notice that the lighting is a little off, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the lighting here. And that's going to be the end of the video tutorial. Once I fix the lighting, I'm just going to pull it this way and pull it in front. Okay. And there you go. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, this is the first of hopefully many Blender video tutorials I'm planning on doing. Uh, also, 3ds Max video tutorials are coming this week as well, and I hope you guys like my video. If you do, um, go ahead and feel free to leave me comments, ask me questions, and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, thanks a lot.